109, the Oxbow view from Mount Holyoke, Northampton, Massachusetts, after a thunderstorm. I just call it the Oxbow. It's painted by Thomas Cole in 1836, oil on canvas. The context for this on the really big world scene is that this is an example of romanticism. Romanticism includes um, landscape in its um, great art. The romantics who painted landscape really painted views of the sublime, meaning views of nature that cause us to admire and have great awe for nature, respect for nature, knowing that nature has got super power and can do stuff to man because nature is more powerful than man. Uh, and in, in addition, some artists want the viewer to see God's hand in nature, that God created everything and God exists in nature. And this is the most famous romantic landscape piece probably out there. It's not in our set, but you get the idea that this man is looking at some awe here or being awed by nature. Our piece is from the Hudson's River School of Art. Here's the Hudson River in New York, going down to New York City right here. And here is the Connecticut River that is featured in our piece. So Thomas Cole started what's called the Hudson River School, where artists would go out and paint the landscapes along the Hudson River. And he just happened to meander over here to the Connecticut River and made a painting along that river. Americans are not especially fond in this time point in history in European art. They're uh, more appreciated portraits and landscapes. So landscapes become pretty common in the Americas. This is our piece of featuring this oxbow. And so one has to know first, what is an oxbow? Well, an oxbow is formed by a meandering river that you see here, these are oxbows from uh, Alaska. And over time, as a river flows, it will hit this bank right here and it'll wash away this little slip of land and it will come along here and also rub up against this land. And before long, the oxbow will be abandoned by the river like this oxbow has been. And this river will flow straighter. The other thing to know in terms of context is this notion of the American settlement of North America. This is a famous painting by John Gast showing the idea that Americans, Europeans should move west, that God is kind of wanting them to move west. And so with all that context, we have to know what is it that Thomas Cole is suggesting in his piece. So let's look at the form first um, or next. This painting is divided into two. This is a wild, rugged side here. We've got a thunderstorm that is fading off to the west, but it has this suggests that thunderstorms can be super powerful because look at this tree that has been devastated by thunderstorms probably in the past by lightning. And then on the right, we see we've got, since the thunderstorm has passed, wow, we've got light shining down here on this uh, farmland, this cultivated sp space. So um, in terms of content, we have on this right side where the sun is shining, we've got all these productive farms where people are um, have tamed the land, so to speak. They've got their own cattle here. They're growing um, hay and they're piling it up. They've created little houses with smokestacks. They are just really going to town and the light is shining on them. Uh, notice also that on this side of the painting, there are trails leading off, kind of like uh, they're going, people are going places. They're going um, down this river, they're uh, in a raft, and in here they have a boat with a sail on it. So people are making motions going forward. Whereas on the left side of the painting, we got some dark, we got some wild landscape going on. 
we've got this real feeling of sublime nature that is more powerful than man. It is um, causes man to be in awe of nature, this super terror, danger nature. Also in terms of content, we have a self-portrait right down here in this piece, front center, I guess, but pretty obscure, is a self-portrait of a Thomas Cole. And he is looking back over his shoulder out at us, the viewer. And we wonder, some do, is he asking us what we think of this right and left side of this painting? He also has placed at the top of the rock here on the left side, he's placed his um, umbrella, almost kind of placing it like a flag, like an explorer going into new territory. And then one wonders, does he mean for his little stool here to look like a cross? Not sure. And then in terms of content, not initially, but decades after this piece was done, people saw in the background here these or this space where it's like you know clear cut forest and some say that this is uh, Hebrew letters meaning Noah or that if it's looked at from above like from God's perspective looking down it would be in Hebrew the word Shaddai which means the Almighty. So one wonders, is the function of this piece to show us that nature is a, just a dominant force in America? Uh, is he saying that God's creation is uh, um, untouched? Or is he saying he's in favor of the movement West? This is unclear. Um, some say that he is really proposing that civilization uh, moves forward into nature and can control it. But there's also this belief that God is a big uh, piece of the formation of nature. Okay, this is a postcard from 1911 showing the oxbow after, what, 80 years have passed. And this is a Google Earth image from 2019 showing us how uh, this landscape has really been transformed because the oxbow has been abandoned. A highway has been actually built over the oxbow. I think that's Highway 91. And this would be like Cole's ad advantage point here looking out over the landscape. So it has definitely been transformed. So this is piece 109, the Oxbow, view from Mount Holyoke, Northampton, Massachusetts, after a thunderstorm. Thomas Cole is the painter in 1836. It's an oil on canvas. It's a romantic piece, and we're not exactly sure what message he is pushing our way or sending our way with this piece. <laughs> 